that, Granny. Huh. huh. Sure is commencing to get a little more home-like around here, ain't it? Huh. Where are you going? Fishing in the cement pond. I want to figure, and I figure better when I'm fishing. Oh, Granny, there ain't no fish out there. I ain't fishing for fish. I'm fishing for the figure. What kind of figure are you fishing for? I'm fishing for the figure how to get home. Oh, Granny, this is home. Give it time. A new place takes some getting used to. I got used to home all my life, and I want to go back. I'm used to it. Can't do nothing here. Can't raise corn. Can't keep chickens or pigs. How come if the neighbors don't allow folks to have animals, this place got such an all fire fancy stock pen? Well, Granny, turned out that fancy stock pen is what they call a tennis court. What in tarnation is a tennis? Well, I don't rightly know, but one of these days we'll get us a pair and go to raise them. You go to raise them. I'm going home where I can have some of the good things of life, like muskrat shank and black eyed peas. Oh, I know you was getting homesick for muskrat. I sent Jethro out to hunt you up some. He won't buy none. I've never been all over these Beverly Hills, and let me tell you, it ain't easy. You got to climb fences, jump over hedges, <laughs> go around them seaman ponds, where there's usually a bunch of naked people smearing themselves with oil, <laughs> and yelling at you, get out. This place is full of the laziest, greasiest, unfriendliest mess of people I ever did see. Uncle Jed, Granny, Jed Grove! Put your clothes on! If you had bear grease on you, I couldn't tell you from a native. Us and Glory and Ellie Mae's going swimming. Oh, um, Ellie Mae says go ahead. She popped out in her first two swimsuits. Now she's working on her third. Jethro, I thought you was going to hunt up some muskrat for your granny. Oh, that's my fault, Mr. Clampett. I told him all the furs were closed. And besides, I didn't want to let him out of my sight. Oh, go on, Gloria. I saw you in the school snack bar with that Frederica Collins. Shucks, that were nothing. We were just having an intellectual discussion. Frederica's fascinated by my intellect. <laughs> Come on, let's go down to the cement pond. The pool, the pool! Why do you keep saying that, Percy? If you're so unhappy, Percy, why are you dating that Ellie May? It's mother. She says if I want to make tenure, I better deliver some books. That's another reason I don't like it here. Jethro, lollygogging around with no clothes in his mom's truck, chasing girls, showing off. Just remember, I warned you that you give that boy the three keys to perdition. Three keys to perdition? Fine clothes, a fancy car, and 50 cents a week. Oh, Granny, I thought you'd be glad Jethro's all popular now. And Ellie Mae, she got her a bow, too. And him an English teacher. English Bob. A real American boy was good enough for her ma and me. We don't go to school and we ain't met one single person. Not one neighbor's come to call him since we moved here. Oh, so that's what's ailing you. Well, Granny, remember what Pearl said. Beverly Hills is where the movie stars live. What's that got to do with being neighborly? Well, nothing. I just kind of thought it might sidetrack you. <laughs> you answer me this. If strangers would have moved into that little cabin down the creek back home from us, what would we have done? Why, we'd have gone calling, brought them some pone and skin possum. Has anybody brought us a pone and skin possum? Has anybody even come here? Well, uh, fire department. They've been right friendly. Come by two, three times a week. <laughs> Why, just yesterday when you was out making soap out back. Can't even do that. These people around here ain't only filthy. They're not only greasy, they filthy, and I want to go home. What you doing now? Where's that Gloria? She's a splashing in the sun. I got to get dressed for tennis. Is tennis a girl, Jeff? I'm not raising no girls in that stock bin. Granny, tennis is a game. You 
You take this here paddle and you bash a white ball against a net. What for? I don't rightly know, but Frederica Collins is coming to bash the ball back at me. Doggone it. I don't feel like fishing or figuring anymore. That boy's girl crazy, and it's you that'll reap the seeds of temptation when the, they're trampled on my little boxes. Because as the rod is spared, so is the tweed bit. And then that dances has got the paper cast in the first stone. Well, I don't know what she said, but she could sure as heck stir up a camp meeting with it. <laughs> Jed, she ain't got my memory for faces. 
This here is in the line for to come back home. Howdy, Nellie. My goodness, y'all wear short dresses out here. Oh, this here's what you call a beach oh. jacket. Emily, you're showing your skimpies. This is a bathing suit, Emma Line. A bathing suit? Back home, people still take a bath with nothing on. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie, honey, why don't you take Emma Line up to the room next to yours and get her settled? Then y'all can go swimming. I got a suit you can borrow after you put your things away. Your room's got a beautiful chest with cedar drawers. Cedar drawers? Don't y'all get splinters wearing them? <laughs> she sure is a hick, all right. We'll have to smarten her up if she's going to fit near Beverly Hills like the rest of us do. Jed, I wonder why Jake and Dora didn't write us their daughter was coming to California. Well, it might be because they can't write. She's uncommon pretty for a Betty. The rest of them look like they must have took homely pills. Yeah, you could chuck them fetties in the creek and skim ugly for two weeks. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm Frederick McCollins. Is Jethro here? Yes, ma'am. Uh, he's upstairs right now. You're the one interested in his intellect. Isn't it incredible? Yep. <laughs> Jed, you might think I'm old-fashioned, but when a girl hardly out of her swaddling clothes can say that for a respectable woman, it's time for us to get back home to the decent folks. Just remember, don't burn your bridges before you take a stitch in time. Good heavens, this place is a psychological weapon. I just gotta write that down. Oh, don't mind Granny, ma'am. She's a mite off her feet. Jethro, somebody here to see you. Be right down. So tell me, ma'am, how do you find Jethro's mind? Well, I haven't yet, actually. <laughs> but I keep digging. I'm sure it's down there somewhere. Hi, Frederick. Ready to go bash the ball? Certainly, Jethro. I find that physical activity helps increase his attention span. Well, it sure do. Last time we measured is. 52 inches around the chest. On our way to the tennis court, you want to have another one of our intellectual discussions? Marvelous. What shall we discuss? Literature, philosophy, the theory of relativity? No, ma'am. I never talk about my kinfolk behind their backs. <laughs> Mr. Drysdale, ma'am. Oh, 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 there, Jethro. Oh, Milburn, why? You know why, Margaret. For the same reason I've made Jake Planter a director of my bank. He's my largest apostle. No. Try, try to appear interested, neighborly, friendly. I'm your wife, Milburn, and I'm an Academy Award actress. Well, howdy, Mr. Drysdale, Ms. Drysdale. <laughs> Come on in and sit oh, a spell. But we can't possibly. Contagious! <laughs> <laughs> 
Only since he ain't but four foot tall. <laughs> well, that's a fact. I reckon you wouldn't much more than come to hear on you. I believe that clock of yours is out of order. I'll take it down and fix it for you. Oh, no, Mr. Clampett, that's all right. But that bird keeps a popping out and a cuckooing. Well, maybe it's mating season. <laughs> Emmeline, I think maybe you ought to forget about swimming and just go rest a while. Oh, you're right. I'm a feeling of my poorly. Thank you, Mr. Clampett. You're such a nice man. Yonder it goes again. Emmeline, I believe both that clock and you is wound up a little too tight. <laughs> Emmeline, ain't you going swimming? No. Oh, <laughs> 